God lives and works today. His power is stronger than all the energy in our universe and greater than all our bondages, sins, and problems. But how can we experience this in our life? The answer is in today's meditation by Basilea Schlink. One of the great problems of many believers is that they have a great deal of knowledge about the truths of salvation and about the power of the cross, yet they don't know how to be freed from the fetters of their sins. That is, anger, touchiness, avarice, sensuality, self-will, and so on. How these sins can torment us and others, too, in everyday life. Scripture tells us that the blood of Jesus, his Son, cleanses us from all sin. The first letter of John. And they have conquered him, that is, Satan, by the blood of the Lamb, in the revelation of John. When after examining our consciences, previously unrecognized sins are brought it to light, we should humble ourselves, and if need be, confess our sins before others. Then it's a matter of claiming the redeeming power of the blood of Jesus. In faith we must claim the victory of Jesus at Calvary, his redemption. We must proclaim his victory and praise his blood over our sins on our morning quiet time. Our mountain of sins will fall if we march around it daily, as the children of Israel marched around the walls of Jericho, with a triumphant cry, Jesus is victor. Jesus, he conquers all my troubles. He saved me by his blood. He saved me by his blood. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus, he conquers Every time we pray a prayer of faith and proclaim the victory of Jesus, another stone in our stronghold of sin is loosened. Even if there doesn't seem to be any change, one day we shall see that the stones really were loosened, day by day, until the stronghold fell and the change came. This triumphant faith takes its stand on Calvary. It attacks the foe by praising the victory of Jesus the redemption from Satan's power, even before the victory can be perceived. This triumphant faith can accomplish everything. It will give us victorious life, the life of those who have overcome by the blood of the Lamb. You've been listening to a program written by Basilea Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. If this program has been a help to you, we would be happy to send you a free leaflet by the same author. Please write to God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street, Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. That's God Lives and Works Today, 9849 North 40th Street. Phoenix, Arizona, 85028-4099. God bless you.